World Baseball Classic is back. Coming up this March, Kyle Freeland, the Rockies ace, excited to have the opportunity to represent Team USA at the WBC. Being able to play in this event is a true dream. It's even more exciting to share the moment with six of my Rockies teammates also representing their countries. Kyle Freeland joining me now live from Scottsdale, Arizona. Kyle, thanks for taking the time. I know that uh, pitchers and catchers are reporting the 2023 season is underway. Can you tell me a little bit about the anticipation on Thursday awaiting to see if you had made the roster? Yeah, it was, it was you know, a whirlwind of emotions uh, that day. Uh, and I find out just right before the show came on uh, that I was going to be left off the roster. Um, Disappointing, but uh, but they also said you know there, there's a chance that uh, we we do eventually put you on. Um, obviously, you know sucks for for Nestor to go down uh, like that with hamstring. Uh, wish him nothing but the best. Uh, speed recovery, getting back so he can get back doing uh, what he loves. Um, but very thankful for the opportunity and uh, and, and having them add me onto the roster for, yeah. uh, for the WBC. Yeah, you were. That's awesome, Kyle. And you were on the 50 person player pool. You were left off the initial roster, but you were the first one they called up when Nestor Cortez went down. You were one of the most competitive and fiercest competitors I've witnessed. You're very competitive, as I mentioned. How much more competitive do you think you'll be pitching for your country? Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, obviously, I've never gone through anything like this before. Uh, and being able to represent my country like this and on the world stage. Uh, there's going to be some some serious emotions, some serious butterflies, and uh, I'm sure quite a bit of adrenaline running through you know each and every one of us. So I'm looking forward to to those feelings. Yeah, two lefties on the uh, starting roster right now, if you will, you and Clayton Kershaw. Any uh, things you want to talk to Kersh about in terms of picking his brain, or, or what will you try to get from each of the uh, the starting arms on this rotation? Yeah, you know that, that's one of the beautiful things about this. Uh, about this World Baseball Classic and then being able to put together the best in the world and and have the opportunity to talk baseball with guys that you normally don't get to talk baseball with uh, very often. So being able to you know spend time with with guys like with guys like Kershaw, uh, you know fellow fellow lefty who I've watched for a very long time and admire how he goes about his day to day work. Um, he's gonna be he's gonna be someone that I'm gonna be picking his brain a lot about um, on you know how he goes about pitching and stuff like that. And speaking of another Southpaw, Andy Pettit is the pitching coach for Team USA. I have an expectation for you, Kyle Freeland. I expect you to come away from this with a really good pickoff move to first base and an even better cutter. What will you learn from Pettit? You know, with, with the new pickoff rules and everything, uh, might, might be a little different. But no, uh, another another guy that uh, definitely going to pick his brain about how he does his work and you know, any little thing that you can pick up in this game that can, you know, give you somewhat of an advantage while you're on the mound, you got to do it. Uh, like I said, it's the best in the world that uh, that are together and that we're going against. So uh, any little advantage that we can take, we'll take it. Mark DeRosa, uh, obviously former player, as many of these guys are on your coaching staff. Uh, what are you looking forward to in terms of being managed by D-Row? He certainly has the passion and the energy that you guys are going to need to compete in this tournament. Yeah, you're definitely not wrong about his uh, about his passion and energy. Uh, he's an electric guy. Uh, you know, whenever I speak to him, whether it's interviews or when he's down here in spring training, he's 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 always pumped. He's he's so infatuated by the game of baseball and wants to have fun with it in any way that he he possibly can. He loves talking ball as well. So I'm excited to you know have him be be our manager and and get things going with him uh, because, uh, like you said, you know he's going to be bringing the energy. You look at the staff there, you see Ken Griffey Jr. as your hitting coach. You're a Colorado kid, born and raised in Colorado, but so many kids grew up, growing up, Kyle, loved Jr. Uh, as their favorite player. Who did you grow up liking and, and want to emulate as a pitcher? Well, I, I mean, as a pitcher, um, you know, I, I had guys, you know, through, throughout the league, but, you know, as a, as a Rockies fan, I was – you know, watch pitchers like Jeff Francis, um, you know, Ubaldo Jimenez, guys that I, you know, was able to go watch games and, and watch them throw. Um, and to be able to have the opportunity to be around a Hall of Famer like uh, Ken Griffey and, you know, someone like you said, we all grew up watching and, and wanted to emulate, especially from the left side. Uh, it's it's going to be incredible to, to be able to share a clubhouse with him and, 
and, and listen to you know the things that he has to say, even, even though he's on the offensive side. All right, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming season with the Colorado Rockies. You guys are going through physicals today. Pitchers and catchers are reporting the 2023 Cactus League season is underway. You were the ace of this staff, Kyle. You wanted to stay there. You signed an extension, five-year extension. What do you guys need to do to be competitive in the National League West? First and foremost, we got to be healthy. Um, that, that's always a big thing with, with every single team. If you, if you want to, you know, go deep into playoffs, get to playoffs, you, you got to be healthy year round. Um, and so that, that's that's number one in all of our eyes. Um, but, you know, I've been saying this, you know, for a long time. It's one of the reasons why I, I you know, signed up for five more years is, you know, it's, it's going to come down to our pitching. Uh, you know, I believe we're, us, us five are going to be the leaders of, of this team. And it'll kind of be carried on our shoulders, whether, you know, we're going to make it to the playoffs or not and, and how deep we go. All right, the eighth overall pick by the Colorado Rockies out of the University of Evansville. Evansville now uh, the the uh, one of the great pictures on the Team USA roster. We appreciate your time, Kyle. Thanks so much. Congratulations, well earned. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys having me.